Once again, welcome to the iSpine series project management topic. Uh, this video is a continuation or a follow up to a previous video that discussed the difference between phases and stages. Today, we're going to focus on phases, pairs the SUCAD camp model, uh, which is a methodology we have. And uh, with this video, uh, you'll be able uh, uh, to see a, uh, an image. If when it's posted on our blog, you will be able to see the image of uh, the model. The SUCAD model, basically, when we were developing the methodology, we've looked at um, what is considered generic or f can be fixed across all type of projects and what could be variable. So we decide to fix the phases. So we use the term phase for the things that would be considered fixed on a project life cycle. Now again, I have to go back to the project life cycle. And, the, and in the other video, we talk about it starts somewhere and ends somewhere. Well, in SOCAD, the start and end are very clear. The start is with the idea. Anytime there is an idea for a project, regardless where it came from, then there is a uh, the project start. So that's the idea statement. And it ends with project closure after accepting the product and doing a closeout report. So these are the beginning and end for a life cycle. In this life cycle, which is a span of time that could be weeks or years, depending on the nature of the project, we broke it down into three distinct phases. We call them basically uh, the three Ds, uh, discovery, development, and delivery. The discovery phase is the first phase. It goes from the idea until project authorization. And it consists of two small stages, or maybe one small baby stage and one is more significant stage, depending on the nature of the project. Now, in literature like the ISO 21500 or the Pomba Guide, this is considered pre-project, and they consider it outside the project life cycle. Well, we don't agree, or we have a different viewpoint. Um, so, in a PMBOK or an ISO, the project life cycle starts with a charter. For us, it starts with an idea. So, we have the discovery phase, which consists of two small stages. Um, and basically, it goes from idea to project authorization. Then the next phase is the development phase, which is basically developing the concept in order to make it ready for delivery. So the sandwich kind of thing. So this is the development, is the filling. But the filling in a sandwich is probably the most important, right? Uh, so in the development phase of the camp model, we have three stages. Uh, again, this is a standard model and it can be customized later, but the phases are fixed. And ideally, the development phase objective is to take that authorized project yeah, from the previous phase and develop that concept further to go through the requirements, uh, more detailed planning, definition, uh, detailed scheduling, estimating, quality standard. Uh, of course, after defining requirements and uh, defining the expectation or exploring for the expectation and needs of the customer, whether internal or external, we define the requirement. From the requirement, we can develop the project management plan and strategy. Then we do the detailed planning, and we are we would be ready for final approval of the organization to approve the project to go further into implementation. So at the end of development, there should be an approval point that is that help us go through uh, to decide whether we're going to go through the delivery or not. The next phase is project or delivery phase and bears the standard model, there are four stages in it. There's the main one, is the implementation, where we actually go and implement the work. Uh, but in parallel to that, if there is a project as a facility or some kind of an operation that requires operation post-completion, then there will be a, fa a stage called operation readiness. Uh, I will discuss stages maybe in another video. Uh, operation readiness stage. And then we will move forward uh, after the initial uh, the operation readiness stage, there might be an initial operation period, and of course at the end we will do project closure. Uh, and project closure in this case is part of project delivery. So to recap, uh, in the Sukkot Camp model, we have three phases that apply regardless what type of the project anywhere in the world. 
and these are the three Ds uh, of project management or of project lifecycle, which is the discovery phase, development phase, and de delivery phase. And the end of delivery is closure. Thank you.